This is episode one of the PDCI-15 Zealtronic that I got from Borit, and it is pretty cool. So, it is a programmable electronic ignition, and a lot of two-stroke guys use them, and uh, it requires a sensor, and I have made my own reluctor and currently I am not picking up this on the reluctor so the reluctor has two wires it gets wired into see the pickup there red wire red and white and the green so here is red and white and the green so we'll plug for speed cell let's take a look at this unit so, with this unit, you get the brain. Mine will go inside. I just have it mounted outside. All this stuff will be flipped around. And you can plug it into your computer here via USB and it goes out. You have to use a specific coil. It has to be a low ohm coil. I'm using an Aprilia coil. And I'm also using WAGO connectors. Don't pay attention to any of this wiring right now. This is all temporary. So I'll be making my own WAGO board. I found that on a Aprilia race bike that had a Banshee engine that was making 90 horsepower. And he had problems with connectors. And he went to the WAGOs and took care of that problem. In the taco, it vibrates like to high heaven. It is crazy. We're going to put some head stays on the taco eventually to, to help with that vibration. So the Zeal, Zealtronic PDCI 15V is for a single, and it has some cool stuff on it. So I can do uh, a stop switch, which my pingle shuts everything down. So I got it wired where if it pulls that, it pulls everything. You can do a shift light, you can do a quick shift. You have two different ignition maps, which is cool. Then over here, you can go to a tachometer Servo, servo, PV lens, I don't know what that is. Okay, so minimum revs 200, maximum 20,000. Seven volts, recommended supply 12 volts to 15, maximum supply 17. Standby current draw is 0.09. Current draw at 1300 RPMs is uh, 0.3 amps current draw at 12,000 is 1.7 amps okay it has fast power up full power starting spark energy at 7 volts single isolated input single ignition coil output external switch for changing ignition map while riding it has a throttle position sensor a shift light output two output jets for the duty cycle for air fuel ratio regulation, it has a quick shift, a shift kill. It has a soft rev limit, a three stage rev limit. It has reduced number of sparks at high revs with closed throttle mode. It has a tachometer output, easy fast programming on the field via hand programmer, programming while the machine is running. Each curve can be set to four to 15 curve points, 3D interpolated ignition map. Signal delay compensation, instant monitoring of revs and angles via LCD, programmable power valve actuation, store and load function for two PV curves, external switch for changing PV curve while riding, programmable PV devi deviation, programmable max close and open positions, self PV test on power up, PV error detecting. Fast processing for high accuracy delays, timing calculations every one period, one PO, one RPM change. 
You have to use a resistor plug because of electromagnetic disturbances and danger of electric shock. Soft rev limit, three stage rev limit. Ah, what every woman wants from a man is a soft rev limiter. So, up here on the clutch, we will have a two stage that will allow us to go to our launch control. At least I hope it will, so we'll see. So here is the Zeltronic kind of dashboard. You have an ignition map that you can come in here and you can go up the rev range and you can adjust your timing based upon whatever you want on your rev range. Right now this one is defaulted to 15 degrees before top dead center. What we need to do is, let me go over a few of the things. So here's the ignition map and then here's the PV parameters. The power jet. Here's the miscellaneous. So you can go in here and you set your rev limiter at 9200. You can do a shift light. You can check your static angle, which we need to do. And go in there. Throttle position sensor. There's a quick shift for time kill in here. There's a stop switch. And then there's a spark energy area. Okay. So that's everything under miscellaneous. There are two power jets. There's two PV maps. And there's two ignition maps right now. Okay, there's the programmer shows that it's connected. It shows the product. It shows the software. This button is for programming. If you want to program, send it to the brain on the bike, you can do that. You could read that there. Over here is an ignition test on the, the spark. And what we can do is we will flip. I have. <clears throat> we'll flip the switch on there. And I have the dead man switch on. And we can go ahead and we can test ignition. Okay, I'm gonna hit the button now, watch this. That's pretty cool. So we can send a spark and we can test the ignition. That's with that yet. Okay. And then over here, this is pretty cool. You can go to monitor. Okay. And you can see we have a PV air because I don't have anything connected. But I have my Dial indicator in there for top dead center. We'll pull that out because I'm getting compression. So when the reluctor comes around, right there, it should trigger. And it's not triggering anything, it's not picking it up. Because either my reluctor is not gapped correctly or it's not centered correctly so we're gonna fix that here's my reluctor plate I made and all I did is I copied the bull taco one and I can adjust the advance and set set the curve if I want to I put it at top dead center and I just eyeballed where it was tripping kind of where it needed to be and I think this pickup needs to be moved out. I have another pickup that's easier to figure out where the sensor is, so I'm gonna flip over to that pickup. Okay, there's a the back side of my reluctor. Here is my other trigger. Now this is magnetic. Whoa, that's pretty strong. That's pretty cool, let's see. Let's see if this one is magnetic. This is a Pertronics. This one is not magnetic. This 
this one is. Okay, let's put the other one on. And we're gonna mount this trigger and then we will come back and test it.